Welcome to my Resident Evil 2 Beginner's Guide for Leon Second Run S Plus Hardcore. The route we will be taking here is, well I hope, one of the easiest routes to take. I've done quite a lot of testing to minimise the difficulty here. There's still a bit of RNG involved and some bits can still be a bit tricky but I believe this is the easiest you are going to make it. We finish it in one hour, one hour 37, so it's about 20 minutes to spare, give or take. Right, so to start, obviously head down these steps into the courtyard ahead. And the year uh, your pistol that you start with, you have five bullets with it. So you want to try and headshot this zombie. Well, it's inanimated. If you're lucky, you might get a headshot. If you have any bullets left, you can try and headshot another zombie as well. I've managed two before, before I've run out of bullets, so it just depends how lucky you are. Obviously grab that them two herbs back there. Straight after this cutscene, hold right and start running in this direction straight away. If you're not quick enough, you'll get caught by some of them zombies there. This is very early in, so if you do make a mistake here somewhere, it's probably easier to just restart it. Right, so in here. We want the grenade, the um, M19, the chest, put away the starting pistol and the, them herbs that you collected. Pick up this key and that ammo down there on the box. Now that zombie we exploded its head, it might be coming down the stairs if you didn't manage to blow its head off. If it, if it is, just um, shoot him in the leg to stun him and quickly run past here. You need to try and destroy, well, stun or kill as many as you can with the grenade. And then run past them. That's a bit random how the zombies are posi positioned. So if they're not positioned in a good way for you, then just restart this starting bit. Right, you want this plank. Grab this ammo. Be ready, you want to kill the zombie that comes in through the window. Use zoom shots for maximum damage. Once he's playing dead, wait a second and then shoot again. If he's alive, he'll move. If not, he'll stop moving. You'll see, you'll see in this walkthrough, I tried to go for body shots where possible. So that's e it's easier for a beginner. And I go for headshots where the zombies mostly still right no need to attack him grab that flash grab the ammo here put the plank on the window once that zombie is far enough away grab the valve grab the um, yellow gunpowder now track that zombie back over here so he's away from the door you entered somehow he's got stuck in the wall there Alright, so I'm just going to get his attention. He's got a stuck in the wall. Yeah, bring him over here, away from that door. That's it, once he's over there, come through this door. Go in this room here. Avoid, try to avoid that small zombie. Grab the knife from the wall. Grab the shotgun shells off the shelf here. Into here. You want the pistol ammo from the locker and the yellow gunpowder. Mix that yellow gunpowder with the yellow gunpowder you just acquired from the other room to create some magnum bullets. Grab them magnum bullets. Now your chest. Put away everything but your pistol, pistol ammo and the bolt cutters. Now grab the herb that you didn't have space for. 
and the fuse at the back here near the bunks now put the herb back in the box again avoid the zombie make sure you don't run next to, next to his head because he might lunge for you and grab you that's a straight up here grab the herb not the herb sorry the first aid spray from the toilet pistol ammo from this room pistol ammo and a plank from this small storeroom now put the fuse in the fuse panel to open the shutter now there might be a zombie here he might be in your way if he is just stu just stun him and then run past make sure he's not near that first age break here so you can grab that also once you've got it run over here pick up the green herb and the pistol ammo on this chair right before you go in this door start walking because there is a liquor in here and you don't want to upset him let's walk through here so the liquor does not hear you you want to board up this window that plank we got just before they um, replace a fuse a zombie will come through that window later on. That's why you board it. Grab this pistol ammo. Use the bolt cutters here. Once you've used them, that should be everything they're needed for now. So you can discard them. Grab the C4, grab the um, green herb, flashbang, and the uh, planks. Grab the pistol ammo from up this corridor, this dead end corridor. Now you need to kill that, kill that zombie near the vending machine. While he's sort of still, go for a zoomed headshot. Now zoomed body shots. Quite a big target to hit, so you can't miss. Once he's down, just wait a few seconds and try again. Make sure he's definitely dead. Now this zombie's got quite a lot of health. So go for any easy headshots you can, and then go for body shots. Zoomed, remember, to maximise that damage. Once he's down, just double check he's dead. Yeah, he seems dead. Yep, he's dead. Now in here, grab the bullets from this locker. Straight down here to the safe. The code is 9, 15, and 7. Each time you need to go an opposite way when you're spinning the dial. There you go, upgraded your pouch. There's a zombie just on the right here, on a desk. Don't run next to him because it will wake him up. Right, in here, 109, open that locker and grab the pistol ammo. Yep, just run straight up here. Don't worry about him for now. Grab that green herb the wooden boards enter the safe room we've got this red herb from the back here an IT item box you will be putting everything away apart from your pistol and the, your, your M19 and the bullets for it I guess you could take some he a healing item here if you're a bit worried for this next part 
I stunned the zombie then run past. I stunned him a bit too early. I was lucky not to get hit then. Right, pistol ammo in the corner here. And you need to keep going upstairs. Just stun any zombies in your way and quickly run past. You might have just saw that woman a bit further ahead. Sometimes she can be in your way as well. She might have more than one. You might have another zombie to deal with down there. This zombie in dark, dark clothing. Get him away from that locker ahead because you need to open that. It's probably a bit too close to her then. Password here is DCM. Now I'm very lucky I don't get caught here. Look at that. <laughs> Tried to get that zombie a bit, a bit further away from that locker than what I did when you stun him. Right, in here. Grab the wooden boards. Kill this hanging zombie with headshots. Zoomed. This will save some trouble later. Grab these pistol ammo here. Right, don't go down the ladder there because it will animate another zombie. So just come down these, come down the um, stairs. Take the long way down. Enter this door on the left. And we'll get one of the medallions now. Right, password here is Baby, Chris and Claire. Scales and the small worm. That's, it, that's a unicorn medallion. Right, in here. We're going to kill all these three zombies now, one at a time. First this one. So we'll go for some nice, easy, zoomed body shots until she falls over. We'll go for a headshot, make sure she is dead. Remember, always wait a second or two before you perform that follow-up head, that follow-up shot. Check they're dead. If you shoot them as soon as they fall down, it won't register. So you might think they're dead, but they're not. Right. So we've put them. You put that shelving in place where it needs to be for later on. So make sure you've done that. So let's kill this zombie. Again, chest shots. It's a bigger target to hit. Once she's down, go for a few headshots. I'm surprised he died so quick because that one's got quite a lot of health. Right, kill this one. Headshot. Oh, you got limbs falling off everywhere, buddy. Right, now he's down. Perform that follow-up, double check he's dead. Right, you want this book before you leave. That's all the zombies killed in here now that we need to kill. Open this. Grab this pistol ammo off the back here. I think it's only three bullets, but it might it might be necessary. Get the lion medallion. This is the crown, the um, fire, and the bird. Them three. The three, the three zombies in this main hall. Don't worry about killing them. You just kill them. Just stun them when they're in your way. Then run past. Yeah, when you're going for a stun shot, don't worry about zooming. You're just looking for speed. Right, grab that green there. Be careful in this corridor because there, there are two zombies that may may have spawned. Well, they may be next to you. Sometimes around the corner won't be a problem, but sometimes they'll be this close. You want this wooden board? See that zombie there? Need to be careful. Right, grab this locker card. Don't worry, them zombies won't come in here. Grab that um, locker card. Put the book in the statue palm, and then put it on there. Right, a liquor is going to spawn here. So as soon as you regain control, the camera angle is going to be a bit awkward, but aim aim directly back to the door where you entered, and you should miss the liquor. You'll be running past the liquor on its left, and what, would, what it will do is it will attack past you. But if you're quick here, you can get through this door before that zombie gets close. Right, back in the main hall, you want to go down to the 
bottom now. Well, down to where you place uh, medallions. Yeah, I hesitated then. I thought I had a chance to get by, but I didn't. Just doing them, it's safer. So place your two medallions here that you have already. Unicorn and the um, lion medallion. Right, now we're going to enter this west office. That should be, we can discard that key now. We've used it in all three locks it's needed for. Now be quick in here because this zombie in the room where the safe is now waking up. Don't worry, we're not coming back in this room again, so it doesn't worry that it doesn't matter that he's woken up. Right, we're getting the shotgun now. Use the locker key card. Grab that. Grab the shotgun and re bullets and reload it. This whole this whole sort of west area, we won't be visiting this again. So no need to kill anything now. Just done them. Just done each zombie you come across with a shotgun and run past. No need to kill them. All right, so back into the safe room here. And, uh, you, all you want now is your shotgun, the shells for it, um, the valve, and that um, staff with a re red jewel inside. Obviously, I had to heal then. Oh, and the C4. You want the C4 as well. Right, so now we're up these stairs. Stun him. He fell over the banister, I think. Remember, just stun any zombies. It'd be easier to shoot the legs until we upgrade the shotgun. Be careful. Sometimes a zombie can be hiding in that tiny corner there. Grab the jewelry box. Grab the shotgun ammo from that safe. That locker, sorry. This locker is... The code is CAP, CAP. Grab the shotgun ammo from that locker. Use the valve here. Shotgun ammo here. Right, you want the battery. Put that in the C4. Red herb, shotgun shells, right, now flick the switch on the back of the staff to get the red jewel, put that inside the jewellery box to get the um, please badge. Now flick the switch on the back of the please badge, examine it, flick the switch on the back to turn it into a USB, put that in the PC. Interact with the monitor to open the armory. Make sure you grab that uh, badge back. The amount of times I've got that. Grab the magnum. Very important weapon for this run. You want the flashbang. Yellow gunpowder and the first aid spray. Basically we collect everything in this room apart from the pistol I make. So you don't need it. And files of course. So they're not needed either. Right, be ready because uh, Mr. X is going to spawn now with Jesus Tyrant. Right, bring him back here a little bit and then flash him. Now quickly run past. Be quick and be careful because sometimes he will swing while he's um, stunned. Now, you need to be quickly head up to the attic now. So throw it back into the library. Go up the, uh, the ladder. Almost at the first save. Looks like he just entered the library. You quickly plant the C4, the detonator. Quickly plant the detonator here. Now what I like to do here is let the shell fall down. Because if Mr. If the tyrant, Mr. X, is coming up them it's coming close, he will not be able to enter. And then I just lift it back up. If he does come in here, it can be tricky. If you just got bad bad RNG, bad luck, 
he, he can bait him around that centre bit until you can until you can get in here. Right, the password for this is it's that like buffalo thing. The um the harp and the bird. That'll give you the maiden medallion. You might have noticed as well, that shelf doesn't always fall down. I think what it is, that zombie that we killed earlier, if his knee is blocking the shelf, it won't fall down. I mean, it's not... In this run, it's not. But sometimes he can fall down and block the shelf so it won't fall. Right, straight back down the step, down the ladder. Yes, yeah, a combat knife here that I forgot. You want that combat knife. Right, back to place the last medallion. And then we will make the first save of three. You don't have to make the save here if you don't want to. Just generally, most most of us like to save here. So it's a good spot before the first boss. And it's 25 minutes in or so. Right, you want them shotgun shells? Right, let's just get your gear ready for the boss before we save. So you ain't got to keep doing that if you die. You want to mix any yellow gunpowder you have with together obviously we're in the F1 left so we can't you want all your magnum ammo you want the magnum you want both the combat knives and you want one or two healing items whatever you're confident with and you want the police badge you definitely want that police badge make sure you've got that on your person once you're ready grab this ink ribbon save your game So once ready, head down the elevator ready for the G1 fight. You want to go right down to the bottom and collect the grenade from the floor. Then put the um, police badge in this small case here. You need to put the USB away for it to fit. Place that in there, grab the magnum parts and um, combine them with the magnum to increase its power. We'll use the magnum for the um, G1 and the G2 fights. It makes them very simple, sort of like a cheese strategy if you may. The knife strategy that a lot of people use, I don't like using it, it's a bit tricky to do and takes a bit of mastery and you have to get close to your target. I like this because it's a bit cheesy and you don't have to get so close, easy to avoid damage. Right, so lift the shelf, cabinet, straight away, love that grenade you collected, just make sure it's equipped. Now you want to zoomed magnum shots to this upper area, zoomed, they need to be zoomed. If you can hit the eye, that's better because it's weak. That's just weak point. You do more damage, but it's a bit more trickier. But if he grabs you, obviously make sure you use your knife as a sub weapon. That's why we've brought the two knives with us in case you get caught. Yeah, this orange blood that means you hit his weak point. That's it. Six bullets, grenade and six bullets, give or take, depending how well you hit his weak point. Right, if, you, if you do use this as a weapon, you can normally find the knife on the floor there from near the ladder. Now before you leave the area, grab the grenade and the herbs in the three corners. Don't worry about the um, pistol ammo. We won't be using the pistol again. Yeah, the grenade is in the um, northeast corner, I think, with a green herb. Red herb in the southwest corner. No, sorry. The grenade... The grenade and the green herbs in the northwest corner, the red herb in the southwest, and the green herb in the southeast. Once you have all them, climb up the ladder, grab the green herb in the room on the right, and then head up to the parking garage.
the um, parking garage section that we're coming up, up to in a moment, I just tend to um, try to run past the dogs best, best I can. It's too, of course it's too much trouble if you try and kill them. It's just much simpler to just take take a hit or two, run past them, take a take a healing item with you. It's a lot it's a lot easier. Less trouble. Right, so you want to put everything away apart for your shotgun and shotgun shells and uh, green, red and blue herb mix. Follow um, Ada, Ada, into the prison, decapitate him, otherwise there will be trouble later. Right, so all, you, all you've come in here for is for this cutscene and to um, collect the crank. So grab the crank and then exit the cells. There's no enemies yet until we activate the door power. <clears throat> In here, you just collect that shotgun ammo. Keep pausing it every now and then just to show you what sort of time time I'm at. Right, grab the blue herb, grab the yellow gunpowder here in the baskets. Yeah, just leave the dogs. It's, it's just a waste of ammo killing them. Easy just to take take a few hits. Right, all we're coming here for is the red herb and the flashbang. Don't worry about the key. Now use a crank to open the shutter. Green herb here. You can mix out the red herb. You want this um the box here. Don't mix that red and green with the blue herb you recently collected because it's going to be unnecessary. I think it's uh, middle middle two there. Right, the dogs are going to appear now. So just run away the best you can. Just keep running to that door and try to zigzag when you're running. As you know, the dogs, they jump in a straight line. So if you zigzag, a lot of the time they'll miss you. I'm actually pretty lucky here, I don't get hit once. Yeah, always try to run diagonally from where you think the dogs are. Yeah, that was lucky. That, that was not skill, that was luck. What you would do if you did get hit, you'd use the red, blue and green herb first, that would reduce damage taken, 
and then if you get hit if you get taken to danger then you would use the other red and green so put everything away apart four you want the shotgun shotgun shells and the crank and the wooden boards and the grenade yeah you keep that flashbang as well you want to keep one flashbang walk now in here walk board up these windows that I do is these three windows you're walking because there's three zombies around the corner here you don't want to alert them keep them in if you keep them all huddled together your grenade will do more damage so once you're around this corner throw your grenade make sure it's equipped don't throw your flashbang right headshot all these just to make sure they're dead there's three no one more them legs there, they're just part of that that torso zombie that's um, crawling around in here from earlier. Right, so we're out here, back near the start, up these stairs. Grab this, there's a herb on the left here on the window, grab that. Now head to the far back of this corridor and use a crank to open the shutter. You can discard the crank after this, they're no longer needed. So you should have one board left. You need to board up this one window in here. If for some reason you haven't got that board, there is a board at the top of the stairs near the lockers. Just make sure you, f you don't come down here before you have a board, so that zombie will come through the window then. All you get in here is that yellow gunpowder from the locker. Now head back up the stairs to the, f to the top. walk when you enter this um, storage room there's two zombies near if they if they're not alerted to you it'd just be easier to hit your targets it won't be moving as much there's one just here headshot him if you're quick you can headshot him before he starts moving may make it easier but don't worry if you miss and you have to use a few shots you've got plenty of shotgun ammo what the? this guy him that's it once them two are dead you can uh, head back out the way you came. Make sure you grab that shotgun ammo that I did. You can leave the blue herb for now that it's in there. We'll grab it later. Grab this flashbang here. Grab this blue herb on the table. Grab the two green herbs down here. We can put them. We can pull this in a chest shortly. Right, two zombies are going to come through that door in a minute. Well, in a moment, so be ready for them. Yeah, she caught me. Do not waste a flashbang or a grenade on a zombie. You need them for later when they're more important. So just take the damage, if you do get grabbed anywhere, and then use a whole healing, a healing item. She, she's disabled, I'm not going to kill her, waste another ammo. I'd been be better off shooting their legs and then going for the headshot. Right, so here, you want to put everything away apart for shotgun, shotgun shells, flashbang, large cog, and the key, that key we got we just grabbed. That's what we need. Remember, well for me that woman was out here, I had to be careful of her. But hopefully you kill them two zombies with one shot. Anyway, so we've uh, turned the water on down the bottom. 
So now we can turn this lever and extinguish the fire. In here, grab the red herb. That's it, combine it. Now, use a, you can use, use a flashbang on him. You don't have to use it here. You, you can lower him back out to the roof if you want. Use it out there, it'll just give you a bit more time to get away. But I just did it here because I couldn't be bothered to run back to the roof. So he's stunned. Back down the down these steps. Back into this um, east office here. Just be ready in case any zombies appear. The zombie I'm thinking about is that that one from earlier that was in here. I'm not sure where he is now. He's probably in the corridor somewhere. Right, again, if any of these zombies in this main hall get in your way, just shoot them once, just stun them, and then run past. Right, just like before, you need to walk here. There's two liquors in here now. See that zombie there at the window? That barricade we put there was to stop him from coming in. Would have been a big problem if he did. Right, so come in here, grab the... Um, the jack and the grenade. Right, whenever you grab this jack, Mr. X will be set to. He'll be pulled to this room once you grab that jack. It's like scripted, so don't worry about it. He's scripted to come. So wait for him to come in. And then. Lure him to the back corner and then walk back to that door he came in. There may be a zombie here. If there is, you've got that flash, that's what we bought that extra flashbang for. If there's anything in your way here, like a zombie, use a, use a flashbang to pre prevent alerting the liquors. Right, so we've got a car jack up to the library. It's right on my tail. So quickly, use the jack, move the bookcase to the right. You can actually move all three at once. Just in interact with the left one, leftmost bookcase, push it to the right, and that's it. This is why you get this prepped earlier and kill them zombies. Because one small hiccup in that room, if he's right in your tail, one small hiccup in that room can just mess everything up. So be ready, there's going to be a zombie up here just on the left behind that pillar. Be ready to shoot his legs. Just one shot to the legs, stun him, and in here. Don't worry about this room, Mr. X cannot come in here. You're safe for now. So use your cog there. Then uh, take it back afterwards. I've got to do that a few times. So upstairs now, use the cog on the um, machine upstairs. You take a small cog first and then place the big cog. Now just end. We just um, go into this back, the end of this back corridor, to collect a large gunpowder. So yeah, place a small cog there. Make the small lift come down. Grab the um. Grab the small box now. Right, you'll find... you find here, Mr. X is just outside here, walking about. He's actually over there, blocking my... blocking my um, pathway. So all you have to do if this happens, just wait in here until he walks back to the library. So you've got a clear run to that far door. 
you will need to um, wait wait until he comes close and then for his footsteps to go again then hopefully watch the library but what he keeps doing for me he keeps walking back to that corner I need to go Yeah, a bit of luck involved here. He's not always, he won't always follow you up here. Just sometimes this will happen and he'll be patrolling outside the door and you'll sort of be stuck. I mean, it, it wastes a few minutes, I know, but there, he's gone down there now, so we're clear. Either shoot him or to stun him or run past like I did if he creates a big enough gap. So unlock this door, back into that storage room. You can grab a blue herb here now. Back to the end of this corridor, to the, to the door that leads to the outside steps, the fire, the fire escape. Going back into the parking garage now. Again, watch that zombie on half, zombie on the floor. See, so boarding them windows up when we did just stop some zombies from coming through. So, what you need now, you want put everything away, all you need is. You want the shotgun, the ammo for it, the two boxes and one flashbang. That flashbang's very important, make sure you bring that with you. You may want to take a healing item. I wouldn't say it's essential, but... But there will be, we will be avoiding some dogs shortly so it's best to take one just to be just to be safe so again back in here there's still dogs running about so zigzag three there's three dogs out here so you need to just um, zigzag towards the prison area No, I'm pretty lucky again. I don't get hit again. That's it. That's the dogs. That's no more dogs now to attend to in the game. So interact with the circuitry on the wall. Open the boxes to get the infused parts. Put them in and solve, solve the puzzle. If I'm going a bit too quick for you here, just pause it, pause it, see how the puzzle's done. Right, grab the first aid spray that he's stashed down the toilet, down the side of the toilet. Grab the permit card from him. Now escape the prison. Flick the switch here to open this back area. Miss X will be here. Come back to this corner, biggest, bigger corner room here, run in a circle around him. Be ready to throw your flashbang here. Now quickly run, pa run past before the effects wear off. That's that's um the police department done. So grab this grab this green herb just on the right here before you leave the garage area.
funny thing about that green herb is um I think this whole area it shows up as blue even if you don't collect that herb it doesn't show up on the uh, map for some reason not a big deal I know it's just a green herb but If you run, if you run over here, if Ada will, she'll run a bit quicker if you run. So yeah, just sprint over to the gun shop. Wait for her to unlock it. Then you want to grab the um, the shotgun upgrade from inside and the grenade from the shelf. And then you can run straight to the um, crocodile sequence. That's it, a long barrel, upgrade it. The shotgun will be a lot better now. You'll be able to one hit kill almost from a, a better distance. It's not as risky as it was before. So yeah, you just need to head straight to that cutscene now of the crocodile, the alligator. Make sure you're ready here. <laughs> Be a pain in the ass if you die to this alligator. So first of all, he's, he's going to go right, so you run left. He'll he'll um, bite once. Now he'll bite left. You go right. He'll bite twice. So don't run run back too quick. And then go left again. Grab this grenade after blowing up the alligator. Got that grenade there. You overgrown son of a bitch. Just waiting for your friend to get the ladder down now. Can't say I didn't warn you. You said the virus turned people into monsters, not reptiles. You just have to wait in here until she comes along. You can't activate the elevator without her, unfortunately. We have to wait a moment before you can interact with this door. Right, so now you're Ada. Interact with this ladder, and then you'll get cutscene, and you'll get the um, visualizer. 
interact with that panel in the wall there and then disable the fan if the EMF So the panel is down there to the right. Disable the fan. Before you jump down, before you jump down, just um, hack that lever there to activate the door. Now get freeze out on this zombie's legs before you jump down. Now you want to shoot one of his legs off before you leave the leave the room. He, he won't be able to follow you then. There'll be one less zombie to deal with. Yeah, take them, that ammo we just collected. I just need to run around here now to where I run to. Don't kill any zombie. well, don't shoot any zombies yet. You won't have enough bullets to kill them all, so we have to rely on stunning them and running past. So run straight here. The panel you need to hack is on that back wall there. Hack it. Now come to this fire room, the dead end, and uh, take the pistol ammo and the flashbang. Stun him and then run past. That flashbang, use that. If you need to use it anyway, use it if there's more than one zombie together. Right, stun him and run past. We're quite I'm quite lucky here. All the zombies are sort of separated. But if you get more than one sort of hunched, hunched together, use that flashbang. Right, that's pretty simple that part. Got you now. If you're quick there, you'll have less zombies to deal with because they won't, they wouldn't have had time to um, shamble to the path you need to take. So you need to be quick here because miss X on your tail. Quickly hack that panel there, then then pull this panel, then hack that lever there to send power to this fan. Now disable it. Quickly jump out. We just need to do this do this um section now where where you get trapped in that um furnace room. Well garbage, more like garbage dis disposal, isn't it? Yeah, grab that ID wristband. You can't um, you can't hack me straight away. You need to wait until the um, game lets you lets you do it. Normally, when Annette net stop talking, so disable that one first, then hack this one up here, then hack that lever to change the circuit. Now hack that one on the right. Now hack that lever there, and then the centre one. That bitch knows what she's doing. Is your clearance confirmed? Your ID is authorised until October 1st. Please return before this date. Not gonna happen. Right, so back, back us to Leon. Up this small elevator. Ada, where are you? Ada, Ada. So chest, item box. You need the shotgun and shotgun shells. I think that's all you need, really, for now. 
Now these G monsters down here, they can be a bit tricky. So make sure you have the... I've not brought them with me, but you might want to bring a green, red and blue herb with you just in case you get poisoned. You want the shotgun shells at the end of here, near the, near the gate. Them shotgun shells there. When we climb out here, just be ready for a zombie. So there'll be a zombie just around this corner somewhere. He's just around here. Make sure you don't run into him. One shot to him to disable him so you can run past. You won't be coming down here again. We're well, not in this area. Take his head off, otherwise he might get in the way later. Just knock him down so you can run past safely down these steps, grab the combat knife at the bottom then jump in the sewer drainage and um, slide down at the end here right, you want to climb out on the left there and just grab that blue herb I've not run past it, I'm going back for it almost forgot that one so you want the blue herb you want the yellow gunpowder just on the corner here quite difficult to see there now this G monster what you need to do don't get too close get about my distance so about I don't know what about six foot away then shoot him then wait for it to emerge and then run past don't run past as soon as you shoot it because when it emerges the splash will stun you and then it will normally catch you before you have time to run past. So you stay about 10 foot away from them, shoot them. As soon as they've emerged and splashed, quickly run past and you can you should be able to get get by them in time without them grabbing you. Just remember that for future because there might be one or two you need to use that strategy for to get past. Code here, S Z F. There's magnum ammo inside. And we've got a save coming up shortly. Second save. You don't have to make a second save here. A lot of players like to make it before the second boss. But I like to make it here because them G monsters can be pretty troublesome. And it's only five minutes, ten minutes before the boss anyway. So all you need to keep is a shotgun and the shotgun shells. So make sure you've only got them on you and grab the ink ribbon, save your game. So we've just saved. Put the ink ribbon away that I didn't I only, I only used one but we collected two. Put that away. Pull this lever to lower the bridge. Grab this red herb and the um, the T bar here, T bar crank, whatever you want to call it. Grab that. Come over to here. Open the safe. The code is well, it's actually on the side of the safe. It's two, twelve, and eight. Like I said earlier, the direction doesn't matter. All that matters is you put in the correct code, but you change direction each time you put a code in. Headshot him. Grab the blue herb. Combine it with that red. Obviously, that upgrade you just collected from the safe. Combine that with your shotgun. That just gives you, allows you to fire quicker, more rapidly. Headshot. 
You can headshot him from a bit of, uh, from further away now, so it's not as risky. Son of a bitch. If you don't kill him in the first shot, just shoot him twice. Like I say, ammo's not much of a concern. Green herb here. Pull this lever to open this gate. Grab this grenade, but do not use this grenade as a sub weapon. Because there's a specific place we use this a bit later on, so do not use that. Be fast here. So run straight forward, keep to the left as much as you can, but try and keep sort of in a straight line so you move forward quicker. You obviously open this. If you hug that left wall, that um, that G monster that jumps out of the drain should miss you. Grab these shotgun shells. Even if he does catch you though, you, you should still have chance to get away from him. Headshot a zombie, decapitate him while he's inactive. Open this quick, quickly grab a rook plug. Quickly grab that. And back down the bottom. Now this G monster down here from earlier. Is that what he's doing? It's random. If he's doing what he's doing for me, just stand here and wait for him to wave his head upwards like that. Then jump down and quickly run past. If you're quick enough, you'll be able to get past him before he emerges fully, so you can get past in time. If he's half, if he submerged half his body, like that first one we encountered, just like before, shoot him from about 10 feet away, wait for him to emerge, then quickly run past. What he has just done there for me, what happens if if you come to a G monster and you're on a high level than them, they'll come to you and then they'll dive underwater. But the sign for when they're about to dive underwater, they'll wave their head upwards for a, for a second. Now, if you time right, so as soon as they wave their head upwards, dive down and run past them, and you can get you can get past before they emerge again. Because normally when they dive under, as soon as you run past where they dived, they'll emerge and uh, grab you. Yeah, you want to shoot that zombie that I just killed because otherwise he will animate later. Okay, so about 10 foot away, shoot him and run past. Run past that side that I did because if you run past the other side, you'll get stuck. That grenade we collected, throw that here and quickly run past. Now that might on the right. Quickly run here, keeping left and shoot that zombie quickly. Be quick so that might don't catch you. Now I, I managed to kill that zombie. If you don't kill him with that first shot to stun him, kill him, be, kill him before you come up here. So just let him, let him come up to you and then kill him. Grab this red herb. Take the queen plug. Kill this zombie here. Take the blue herb. Place the queen plug here. Turn around and headshot that zombie, decapitate him. That's all the zombies done here for now. Take the king plug from out, out of here. Jump down. Place a king plug here. Grab a flamethrower. If you don't have enough space, use one of your herbs. But you, sh you should have. I I had one shotgun shell taking up a space, so I just used that to um to free up a space. So I found a herb. Herb's more important than a one shell. Obviously, I've just put a, I've put a queen queen plug back there. I've placed a king plug in that door. Now take that queen plug back, coming through this door here, and then take that king plug back. Now you're back at the stairs with both plugs. Make sure you've got the queen plug, the king plug, and the flamethrower before you leave this area. Okay, 
Again, it's again, it's a bit random what G mods is doing here. He's alerted to me, so he's going to dive down in a minute. Look, watch for his head waving. There, there we go. Jump down quickly, run past. See, he he almost caught me then. As you see, because I had a bit of a distance to run to him. I'd be ready here, so the G monster is going to appear from the water ahead. As soon as it appears, quickly climb out here and it will miss you. Wait for it to do a grab, then jump down just past it, then run to the ladder. And you're safe before the G monster. So that first one we encountered on the way back from the, the um, flamethrower area. It'll either be, it'll either do what it just did then for me, where it will come over to you and then um, dive underwater. It will be resting half submerged, you know, the one where you can shoot it from 10 feet away and then quickly run past after it's emerged. Or, or you might just come across it and it will just be standing ahead. But because it's not alerted to you, it will not dive under. If it's, if you come to it and it's just up ahead, What you can do, you you want to put the rook, rook plug there. Take the take that plug from there, the um, bishop. Put the queen plug there. Put the bishop plug here. Take the knight plug from there and put the king plug down. And put the knight plug there. So, on the wall off the door. You've got in this order, you've got the queen, bishop, queen, bishop, and uh, king. Right, all you want now is the, the magnum and the flamethrower. Take all take all the rounds for the magnum that you can. Well, 20 is plenty. 20 is plenty. I wouldn't really bother combining them last two yellow gunpowders so 20 magnum and the flamethrower yeah sorry back to that um, puzzle Ma sorry make sure you get the herbs down here back to that puzzle yeah so the wall off the door you want uh, queen rook and king and on the opposite wall from left to right you want the knight rook and pawn the pawn you just leave where it is So it, it's the um, it's the, the right three you want to flick up there. Just run over to, over to the store to cause him to um, smash down. Then stand here and he shouldn't catch you. He catches me once or twice, but he, he'll only catch you once. Just so stand here. You can shoot him, get a zoom shot ready and shoot his hand and he'll uh, stop doing that and he'll spawn quicker. Right, aim there, where I am. You see the, you see the um, hash, the um, yellow and black lines before. Be ready, and the eye should fall right into your line of sight, so you can get a free shot in there. You want about ten. You want ten zoom shots on his weak point, so make these count. Yeah, that's two zoom shots on his weak point. Oh, that one wasn't zoomed, but I count that. Count that as three. That's four. That's five. If you're a bit unsure about shooting this weak point when he stood up, you don't need to. You can just shoot him when he's um, done his lunge if you want, if it's easier for you. It makes it an easier target. Well, I've lost count now. What's that, seven? The key is, the key is to shoot his weak point until his eyes turn red. Not orange, red. Sometimes it can be hard to tell between the two colours. But normally about 10 zoom shots in his weak point will make his eye turn red. See that that's a colour there. That indicates that he's at his, that indicates that one crane will kill him. Now before you jump down, obviously he needs to be at red. It's about 10 shots. Before you jump before you jump down, make sure he starts his attack again. Now quickly come over here, press a crane, grab the flashbang. 
head back to him. Now wait for him to jump down and throw the flash to stun him. Wait for him to jump down. Throw the flash. Once you stun, burn him. But use only 100 fuel. Do not use any more. Only 100. I mean, you might use a little tiny bit more, but do not use much more than that if you can help it. That What that'll do, that'll make him kneel. So straight away, come over to here and call the crane back. And that should that will come and hit him before he res, re, sorry, before he gains control again. Easy. Oh, he's dead. Grab this um, magnum ammo here. Grab that combat knife. I've just collected it. And now we're gonna rescue Ada, Ada, and go to transit. Sorry, just about them G monsters from earlier. I know I'm a bit late now. Obviously, I'm trying to squeeze, squeeze all this commentary in. Um, yeah, them G monsters. Um, if one, if one is just standing up and you approach it, you can bait, you can bait, and you can bait it to attack by sort of running within about two feet of it. It will bait its grab attack. Then quickly, quickly turn around and run back. It was its grab attack will miss you, and then you can then you've just got enough time to run past it. So I'm I know I'm a bit late of that info, but I'm just trying to fit all this commentary in. So in the transit, flick the switch. Last stretch. The nest area goes by pretty quick. It's mainly it's mainly the RPD that takes up most of the time. Thank you. Right, four, four shotgun shells in this room, on that desk. Now item box. Put everything away, apart from the shotgun, shotgun shells, and the wristband. What you can do now, you can um, you can use that large gunpowder if you haven't already. Combine it for a yellow gunpowder to uh, make five or six shotgun shells right where we're going now you need to be very quick here very quick so do we eat, try to do each of these steps as, at the speed I do as soon as you go through this door turn right grab the grenade off these zombies down here turn around go back grab the flame fuel from this counter then run it around the outside of the room to this ladder. If you've done all that in a about the time I did and the speed, you shouldn't run into any zombies. As soon as you enter the room, there is one zombie that comes for you. But because we because we quickly grab a grenade and run back, he doesn't catch you in time. Once you drop down here, walk. Because there is a zombie in this next room. Walk, grab that large gunpowder we did, grab that combat knife. Now be careful here, just try to look out the door, see where the zombie is, so you can headshot him. Obviously if he stood right next to it and facing you, you don't want to run into him. Grab them shells, grab this um, flame gun, flamethrower upgrade, grab the ID card from him, combine it with the wristband, now head back to the start of the area. Keep right here. Because, because if you pass by that door on the left and it, if you're close enough and it will open, there's a zombie right next to it and the zombie will lurch out. And we're coming back through in a minute. Now you need to go, go back to the item box and put some items away. Because you need to free up space 
for this um, signal modulator. I didn't. Yeah, you can basically put everything away apart from the shotgun, shotgun shell shells, the um, wristband and one knife. You, you do need to have a um, defense item on you at all times here because the plants, if they catch you, it's an instant kill if you do not have a sub weapon. Obviously, we don't want to use the grenades or flashbangs, so it's the knives we want to have with us. Again, stay away from that door there, otherwise, a the zombie will lurch out. Now, coming back through here, there may be a zombie. I'm not sure where he came from. Just uh, kill him. Come through here. Activate this by um, exam examine the modulator and get the right setting. Obviously, OSS. Now grab that pouch. We won't be coming here again, so it doesn't matter now. See, see that zombie's right next to the door. So we interact with this panel to um, create the bridge to the area. I think it's the um, I think it's the southeast area. Right, so coming through here, nothing to we need to collect yet. through here. Be quick here and you shouldn't have to shoot any ivies. Grab that yellow gunpowder, quickly run here. He should get past before he recovers. Through this door, grab the flashbang, grab the um, capsule from this solution capsule. Or cartridge I guess. Now interact this panel. Now I'm doing this slowly so you can see it's two, zero, four, eight. So two, zero, four, eight first. Now again, one more time. Now you want five, eight, three, one. That's five, eight, three, one. Now that's both of the um Hat, the hatch unlocked and this door unlocked. Grab this red herb on your way down. Just be wary of any IVs that are running around. With your shotgun, you can just shoot them and it should stun them. One shot and then quickly run past. Grab that large gunpowder, combine it with the yellow gunpowder, create some more shotgun shells and then group them all together. Grab that grenade. Now put the um, cartridge inside here. Now it's all you need to do is blue, red, green, blue, red, green, and blue, red, green. Pretty simple. It's just blue, red, green times three. Down here, be ready to shoot any IVs. Just stun them, then quickly run to this hatch. Once you get down the ladder, grab this large gunpowder at the back here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so in here, grab his shotgun shells from this small bench. Then kill these three zombies while they're inactive. I'm sure you can see now I've got plenty of shotgun ammo. Use the um, modulator here to activate the power. Obviously get the right setting first before you use it. URF. Right, once you turn the power on, grab this green herb. Do not go down that corridor yet that's on the camera. Do not go down there yet. Instead, come down here and enter this room first. You want to clear out this room and just put some things in the item box. What we need, we need a shotgun, shotgun ammo. You don't need a modulator. I've kept it, but you can put it away if you need. We don't need it until later. Yeah, so you want the shotgun, shotgun shells. You want a healing item, the ID wristband, and you want about four or five combat knives. Because there is, there is a tricky part coming up soon. You, f you might not have that many, but just take as many as you have, combat knives. There's one on this table as well. I come back for, I'll come back for it in a second. I knew I forgot something. It was that combat knife. So, run, run straight to this room because some liquor's going to fall down. If you run straight there, they will miss you. Straight through these labs into the um. Into the freezer. Put this. Put the um cartridge in here to call it to the right chemical you need I guess now you can head back but remember them liquors have appeared so you want to walk when you leave this area this room so start walking before you exit there'll be no zombies because you killed them while they, they were inactive in the vending machines so there are two liquors there, just walk down here, just take it easy, walk on by. Through this door, back into the uh, well, maintenance room I guess, up this ladder, again be ready for any IVs that are blocking your route. Now I come up these stairs because there's an ivy in that corner. You gotta be careful because you I almost ran into that ivy there. So once back in here, place a cartridge inside the blue cartridge. And that should kill most of the vegetation. So you can access the um, final key card. Now be be ready here because some of these ivies are gonna animate soon. Grab that blue herb if you can. This is what, why we need to do um, combat knives. Grab that, wrist, that ID card there, purple ID card. I combined it with the wristband straight away. Shoot him, run past. Shoot him. Don't worry, if you don't stun him, that's what you've got combat knives for. But since you have your sub weapon, if you have needed to, just quickly run straight past them. Then down this ladder. You might only have one IV to have to get past. You may have two. You may have three. You may have four. I think I've seen three or four spawn on that same path once. Again, once you get in here, walk. Them two liquors are still in here. That's not changed. So walk. But it's one on the one cling to this wall here. So make sure you keep a good distance away. They only. They only become alerted to you if you walk within about, I think it's with about two feet of them. The reason we've come down this way after getting the wristband, the key card, is because Mr. X can't come down here. It's a bit it's a bit less um, pressurised in this room. Stress, stress free I guess, almost. Apart from this guy. Make sure you stun him because if he grabs you on the stairs, 
It'll be an instant kill because you can't use sub weapons on stairs. Grab this yellow gunpowder as you come up. You've got a space. You have got one space. Kill that last zombie. You have got one space for that yellow gunpowder because you use that cartridge that emptied the space. And now it's into the final room ready for G3 and to make the last save. I'm just putting something back in the item box here because I want to I want to free free space to grab a grenade that we're gonna come across shortly. Let's activate this last bridge to the west west area. There's a grenade next to this corpse. Grab that. That's one I wanted to empty slot. I don't really need it because there's a there's an item box here. Turn the power on by using the modulator on this panel here. This is why I said you don't really need this earlier because you could uh, you could have just got it from this box here, so you could use it on this panel. That's it. You don't need that no more. You can discard that. Grab this blue herb here. interact with this cabinet here and it'll start a cutscene. Alright, now back to Ada. Alright, just grab all these items in here before we save. Yellow gunpowder, red herb, um, large gunpowder on this trolley. Now let's just get our equipment ready first. Put everything away. What you want, you want the flamethrower, all the fuel, You want the upgrade for the flamethrower. You want to combine that. What's that? Basically, that that halves the consumption rate of the ammo, so it sort of doubles your ammo count. Yeah. So you want the flamethrower, all the fuel, the upgrade for it. You want one or two healing items, one or two combat knives, I guess. But the healing items from the combat knives aren't really needed, but. Uh, you probably best take them to be safe just in case. Then the ID band. Then once ready, grab the ink ribbon, save your game, make your last save. So now ready for the final stretch. So you should have your flamethrower, all its ammo, the um, upgrade connected to it to half the rate it uses fuel. One or two healing items, one or two um combat knives if you have any ID wristband and then come over here right first of all you check where you are head to the southern central part of the boss area and grab this flame fuel from down here and now begin burning him run, you can run past him first what you need to do just burn him burn him and when he walks around when he walks around in an arc and lines back up with you run past again most of the time that'll work. Burn him, once he lines up with you, run past. It's gonna be, a, it's quite a, I don't know, what, 10 foot distance away from him like I am? Because what he can do, if you're too close, he can sort of swipe back and catch you. You might jump back like that also. See, like that, that's why you need to be about 10 foot away, I guess, to um, avoid that. If you walked over to um, one of them large capsules, make sure you put some sort of obstacles between you, so when he throws it at you, he doesn't catch you. Yep, 
Yeah, I guess that's why I needed a healing item. What I should have done then is waited for him to come back in the open. I just start again. Burn him when he lines up run past. You, you never want to be too far away or too close. Because that jump he just did, that's an instant kill if you have an officer weapon. If he lands on you. Because I was close to him, he, he jumped past me. It's just nice. It's good to find that right distance. When he grabs that sent, when he grabs that panel, make sure you're not too close, and, and you're not in a you're not in a straight line from him, in the centre, so he doesn't hit you with it. Just keep burning. That's it. That simple. Now, before you leave the area, he went to grab the grenades. This is in the same part where the flame fuel was, the south, southern central part. You want this flashbang here. This is in the south western part. There's a first aid spray in the north western part on the table. Then you want one more flashbang near the elevator over here. And then you can take the elevator and head Head down to the lower levels. Yeah, when he's when he's picking up a large when he's trying to pick up one of them large capsules, he tries to throw it at you. The thing with that is it cre it creates quite a large distance between you and it can be it can be difficult getting back into rhythm because it puts a distance between you. So what you can do rather than run straight at him like I did and uh, get hit. You can hide around an obstacle. If you if you hid around an obstacle, he won't he won't attack you because he can't actually he's not in a he's, he's not got a straight line of um, attack to you. So you can hide around an obstacle, wait till he gets close, and then run out and past him. That can make it a bit simpler, rather than just run at him like I did. So as soon as this door opens at the bottom, you want to grab the first aid spray and then grab the combat knife off the term of the um, mainframe after the uh, after the cutscene. So you've got the first aid spray, then this combat knife on the side here. I guess it's a printer or something. Grab it. Now, if you've got if you've got about 100 flame fuel, should be fine. Or you can bring shotgun with you. Basically, there's three ivies down here. You just need to stun and run past. So if you don't have any flame fuel left, because depending on how much you use in the last boss, G3 only, he only needs about 700 kill. You can bring the shotgun if you want to stun them, or even the magnum. So okay, just burn them if you've got enough fuel left. They only take 30 to burn them at all. I thought he would have died before he got a chance to do that, but he died just after. So through here, grab the green herb, down the ladder. When Mr. X appears down here, you have got probably enough ammo to stun him if he can get some headshots, but it's just it's not necessary. And trying to get a headshot may it may just make you miss and get hit. So just loop around this. Um, centre part of the railing and uh, go through the door behind him that zombie's too slow so he won't be a problem through here cutscene will begin skip it now to the item box before super tyrant grab this red herb now you want to put everything away and what you want, you want to um, you want to take at least three grenades 
you need at least one flashbang but just to make it easier we're going to take uh, we're going to take six grenades three flashbangs and then some, you want quite a few healing items. Remember to keep two free blocks of space for the um, two double fuse thingy that you need to put in the this lever panel, joint plug, even. Yeah, remember you need at least three grenades and at least one flashbang. But the more you have, the better. But keep one grenade. Keep one grenade. Do not use it on this boss. Yeah, make sure you keep one. So, throw one grenade at him. Wait for him to recover. Throw another. If you don't let him recover, then you, the grenade won't stun him. So just wait for him to recover before you throw the next, and it'll cause him to stun again. If you run out, just run. Just run around trying to avoid him. You heal when necessary. He can be difficult to avoid this boss. You remember, keep one grenade. That's very important to keep one grenade. So once you've got one left, remember to equip the flashbangs. Now after about once the fight's been going for about a minute, you need to be ready with a flashbang. So each time you get away from him, safe distance, just take a flashbang. Equip the flashbang ready, like in a throwing stance, like so, just so you're ready to throw quicker. Yeah, but I don't know why it's still too close then. Remember, getting the throwing stance ready. Now, once he does that, throw the flashbang. If you don't, it's going to be an instant kill. So he'll like cross his arms and then like roar up to the sky, S scream up to the sky throw a flashbang to prevent to stop him in that animation once you get a rocket launcher I like to throw a flashbang just to stun him and then you need to shoot him twice do not miss with the rocket launcher because you need because you, you only get four bullets you need two to kill him and two for the final boss now these throw a grenade to kill all them that's what we save the last grenade for Normally you'd use a rocket launcher, but we need to keep them two rockets. So yeah, now on the train. Now all we need for this boss is you need two rockets and about five magnum bullets or about six shotgun shells. So it's up to you which you want to take. Take both. Take the rocket launcher, the shotgun and the magnum if you want to be safe. I think I only had like one bullet left here, so I, I probably should have taken a bit more ammo to be on the safe side. So you run to the end there to um, cause the, bodge, the boss to appear, G5. Now once he appears, do not shoot him. He actually, take, he actually takes reduced damage if you shoot him before his eye appears. So it's obviously a bit of a waste of ammo, shooting him before his eye. Now once he gets close, get ready for his eye with a rocket. Once his eye appears, shoot it. So just be careful because after a second or two the eye will go back in like that and then we'll reveal it again. Now just shoot it with the shotgun. Yeah, I had one bullet then I was lucky. I should have took more. And that's it. That's basically all you need to do to earn BS Plus. I'll do it in 1 hour 36, so I've got plenty of time to save 24 minutes. So if you do make mistakes, you have got a chance to make them. Right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if not already, and I'll catch you next time.